close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways
Welcome everybody, I'm Martin Tyler and this is the Etihad Stadium. Newcastle United and your And today it's Manchester City against Newcastle United. Manchester City, Alan. You have to take your hat off to them, Martin, because uh, it's okay being expected to win the championship. It's a bit harder fulfilling those those hopes and uh, they've done really well in doing that. Started this campaign really well and uh, I don't foresee them slipping up. Number 17. Well, they can Kevin be Bruyne. really the heartbeat of the team, Number these seven. central midfield players. And we've got a new one Sterling. making his debut today. What do you make Number of it, Alan? Ten. Well, I'm uh, impressed by the signing. Aguero. I think he'll give them a bit more and composure in the middle of the park. He can get up and down. He's a good pass for the ball. If we're looking for energy in midfield, which I think the manager is, what we've been talking to him about. And uh, a new signing today with that in mind, I guess. Yeah, I thought they'd looked a bit short, a bit flat actually in midfield previously. And he is a creative player as well. Manchester City's lineup today. Well, the opponents to this team, they know what to expect, but stopping them, Alan, that's a different matter altogether. Yes, quite, and uh, any opposition manager would have spoken uh, long and hard about their game plan, but uh, it's a wonderful way of playing, the passing, the movement. It's unstoppable when it's uh, hitting top form. Newcastle United's lineup. Different kind of approach from this side, I think. They will get men behind the ball. They will make it difficult for the opposition to score. It's that old-fashioned arc that's quite often ignored of defending, of uh, just resolutely sitting in there and seeing what you can get on the break. Game's underway here. Manchester City having kicked off. De Bruyne. And here's the shot. A long way out, but in the end, a long way off the target. Mendy trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. And shoots! Manchester City get given the corner here. Shot off! Brada! From the cross. The shot's on! Well, here it is! The first goal of the game that they have absolutely dominated. Very good play. Defence opened up again, but the difference is this time that they put the ball past the goalkeeper. Good finish. And they're looking a very classy side at the moment. So a real captain's contribution here with a fine goal. Was a good goal and it came at a, a crucial time, I think, for his side. A real captain's input there. Manchester City are in the lead. 
Kyle Walker, Fernandinho, and he's put that into his own net. When it comes to the territory, he had no choice, he had to play the ball, but it's ended up in the back of his own net. Well, I want to see this again, this goal. It's a frustrating way to go behind in a match when you contributed to the opposition scoring with the own goal. And now the shot! Well, give him credit for having a go, but it was nowhere near the target. Yeah, he took responsibility, didn't he? And uh, he'll be hoping it's a bit better next time. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of three minutes of added time. Denis Suarez trying to find an opening. Not panicking. Whipped in from the wide area. And that's into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Not the hardest thing he'll have to do to... Well, that's half-time. And 2-0 with the score at the halfway mark. With 45 minutes gone, and then the first 45 minutes for this new club, how do you think he's done? Very unselfish out there, creating lots of chances for teammates. Whistle from the referee, and we're off and running again for the second half. Your position with pace. Well, that's over the top of the defender, and one to chase. Still progressing on the break. Sergio Aguero now can pull it back here to set up a chance. A goal! Well, how long's it been on? One or two minutes, I'm not sure, but he's marked his appearance here with a wonderful goal. Manchester City moving into what should be, Alan, an unassailable lead. I would have thought so, barring any catastrophic errors there. there. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but goal all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Bernardo Silva. John Joe Shelby. It's a change in personnel for Newcastle via the bench. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. Whipped in from the wide area. It's a goal! He has made... An immediate impact with this goal. Oh, the perfect start for the ladder. Didn't he take it well? Well, if you keep going in to... That sort of area, the ball will drop for you, and it dropped perfectly for him. I think that's a lesson to anybody uh, enduring a goal drought. Keep getting into the positions in the 18-yard, in the six-yard box, and you will score, didn't they? Number 17, Kevin Sane. Here's a chance, the goalkeeper exposed. And that will clear the danger. Fernandinho. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes. De Bruyne, the shot's on! Given that he tried to place it, he got it rather wrong. Yeah, probably did choose the wrong option, should have tried to get some power behind that shot. Denis Suarez. Manchester City, get the result here they wanted, they've won.
Manchester to the Etihad Stadium, and it's Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. And you're Manchester City. And today it's Manchester City up against Fulham. Manchester City and we'll see today. what Manchester City are made of. All marks to the players because they've concentrated right from the very off this season. I know there's still a long way to go, but uh, we all expected them to be champions, and they're looking like that in these early stages. Best defence in the league, 20, Manchester City. Bernardo and I think what Silva. makes this team so hard to beat Number is the fact 17, that everybody works hard Kevin out of possession. It starts at the front with the strikers. Manchester City, very happy with their recent form. The last game they won against Newcastle. Yeah, impressive, that 3-1 win, and uh, I think that's going to be enough to carry them through here with another win. Manchester City's lineup today. John Stone starts alongside Nicolas Otamendi at the back. Kevin De Bruyne starts. He was man of the match in his last game. Sergio Aguero is the sole striker. And here it is for Fulham. This is their team for this match. We put it up as a 5-2-3. It could be 3-4-3, couldn't it, if the wide players get forward from the back? Yeah, I think it's one of those. It could be anything. The manager wants it to be he has got some very talented lads out there though Kyle Walker now De Bruyne takes on the shot Aguero Aguero scores oh that's typical Sergio Aguero isn't it not many better around when it comes to finishing from that kind of position one more look at what happened earlier could the defender have done anything different, Alan? Well, maybe he's half turned away, and that didn't help. If he'd have closed it down a bit more bravely, it might have been better. Manchester City in front. It's a chance to make it five in a row. Yeah, they must go out on the pitch there. Full of confidence, the way that they've been playing. Shots on here. Goal! They lead by two now. Took the chance nicely, and that really has given them much more of a basis for the rest of this match but well, the temptation is to put your foot through this from this distance but he declined that and he stroked it home brilliant and here's the goal again restarting at 2-0 Bernardo Silva the shot's on Brilliant reach by the goalkeeper to make the save. Wow, I think even his defenders are shocked at that. Sterling. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Well, that's half-time. And 2-0 is the score at the halfway mark. Well, with their defence, 
I think they'll feel, although it's a, a tightish game, they can see it through here, Alan. You would imagine so. I think for the manager, it's just a question of making sure everybody stays focused, switched on. Everyone's settling back in their seats. Second half is underway. Room for the cross. Looking for teammates in the middle. Oh, he's missed it. Oh, it's <laughs> Kyle Walker. Delivered into the box. Well, all credit for taking the volley on, but in the end, nowhere near the target. Well, it's a difficult skill, and you get it off a fraction, and that can happen. It goes wide. Whipped in from the wide area. Well, the header was going in, but it was pretty straightforward for the keeper to stop that happening. Yeah, he's thrown his cap on that one, hasn't he, the keeper? Easy, mate. Sane. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Put in from the wide area. Superb save. He shouldn't have had a chance at all with that, but ooh, what about those reflexes? Brilliant. In goes the corner. Reaching for it a little bit with the header, and that's the expected result. Corner. Corner swung in. Oh, the manager not... Off the post! And he bangs it away. Counting down in the last ten minutes here. Nine to go. Zambo and Gisa guiding it through. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. Babol. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. And that's gone behind for a corner for Fulham. Put the corner in the middle. And they get it away. Shots on here. And he's way off target. On to Gabriel Jesus. Well, he's got away from him. Final whistle, it's Manchester City's match. Can't get much better than this, really, Alan, to win and keep a clean sheet. Yeah, I think that will be the pleasing aspect of it, as well as the three points, the clean sheet, uh, particularly the keeper.